Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. Well, let me start by most sincerely, most sincerely thanking all of you that are participating in this meeting, as well as all others that are not able to join or not are participating now. I thank you sincerely for the amazing work people are doing. And we're all working together, pulling together as a family. I know listening to everybody has been amazing. And of course, so searching and examining, like I would say, on examining life is not one living and asking yourself, how did we get here? When I listen to people like Morin speak this evening, how the father used to put her in a car, take her to a garage, put her in a car to go from Canada to Onicha without any fear, without anything. You can imagine how our country used to be. And like I said, every day, we had the same opportunity where as a student, I drive my car from University of Nigeria, Suka, to go for an event in University of Medugri, University of Sokoto. I drove all the way. And so I know, I know how people feel. But that is not for this night. This night for me is to thank you. You know, I mean, going around to that was a caliber, but in Enugu, I was listening, preaching the same thing to everybody. And thank God people are beginning to listen. So I thank you for what you're doing. What we're trying to do now, up to now, I've resisted. Whenever people say to me, let's do fundraising, let's do this, let's do that. And I said to them, let's do some work first. We must not start by doing fundraising. Let's try to run on our own. Let's try to sacrifice. And I thank all the various support groups who have done a lot of sacrifice so far, who have used the little funding to work. But I got to the garden and I said, oh, up to now, I've not been able, even if people have donated money somewhere, that I've not been able to lay hands on it. I've been working and struggling on my own. People are like, is it true? But that is the way I want to work. I want to show people that what we're doing, we're serious. We're committed to it. And the first commitment is to be able to work and then sacrificing my own resources. And doing so with a commitment that I'm not looking for a return on investment, but looking and hoping that God will give us opportunity to start building a future Nigeria. Thank all of you. We've now come to a point where we have to start gradual to start a fundraising. And everybody, everybody, we're going to be doing this meeting from time to time, maybe weekly or fortnightly, as those in charge decide. Everybody is chief fundraiser. Whatever, no matter how little, no matter how big, we will all work together. We've chosen five people or that are about to be signatories that manage these accounts. Eventually, we'll get to know five of them. I'm not involved in any way. I said it, if you're going to manage public resources transparently, you start by managing the funds people are going to give us to support us in this movement. 
So they will be eventually know the names. One of them is Aisha. The other names, you will eventually know who are involved in this fundraiser. But in terms of conversion and everything, all of us are chief fundraisers. Whatever you can do, I've listened to people talk about, even if it's a t-shirt, you can be able to brand for yourself. For the next person, please do. It's wonderful. So men, very grateful. We're going to build a better Nigeria for our children. We're going to build a better Nigeria for next generation. Nigeria is a great country. And comes a time people like you who decide to sacrifice. All I can assure you is that I will never disappoint you. Neither will I disappoint the children Nigeria, that I would like to disappoint those who have entrusted their hope in this movement are merely being used by God, like all of us, by His grace, to see whether we can stop this pain that people are going unnecessarily. When I spoke at the event in, today in Calabar, and I said to them, as the only person who is saying shouting that our oil is stolen among the college major contestants, shouting that on issue of corruption, effects, and I'm urging other people to join so that we can stop all this. We're at the point where we're going around conversing for both. But like I always say, we are all looking to be hired for this job. And it is for Nigerians to be brave enough this time to decide to do the right thing. So thank you. I'm still here, part of you. I have an event where I'm speaking tonight, which I'll leave, because I told them that I'll be physically present and speaking by any time from 11 p.m. to midnight. And I'll be there to speak at the, the huge event. So I'm still around, I'm still listening, Thank you, God Almighty, who continue to bless everyone and each of you for the sacrifice. God bless you. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter Obi, for that. Uh, so before we go on, since you're 